Hi, my name is Pastor Jerry Ingalls from First Baptist Church in Newcastle, Indiana, and we are on a journey together of studying the Bible one chapter at a time. I'm writing a short devotional thought on every chapter of the Bible, and I'm sharing that with you. Today we're looking at Deuteronomy chapter 16. What are the stories that define you as a part of a larger group of people? Within our American culture, we commemorate Thanksgiving and Memorial Day. Additionally, as Christians, we celebrate Christmas and Easter. We are shaped by the stories we tell on those days. Deuteronomy, like Exodus and Numbers, teaches the importance of the feast, with Deuteronomy 16 prescribing, once again, the three pilgrimage feasts. Listen to verses 16 to 17. Three times in a year all your males shall appear before the Lord your God in the place which he chooses, at the feast of unleavened bread, and at the feast of weeks, and at the feast of booths. And they shall not appear before the Lord empty-handed. Every man shall give as he is able according to the blessing of the Lord your God, which he has given you. The Feast of Unleavened Bread, in conjunction with the Passover, commemorates the Exodus when God delivered his people from Egyptian slavery. The Feast of Weeks, also known as the Feast of Harvest or Pentecost, happens seven weeks after Passover and not only celebrates the grain harvest, but also comes to remember the receiving of the law at Mount Sinai and the people's entrance into the Promised Land. And the Feast of Booths or Tabernacles memorializes Israel's 40 years of wilderness wanderings. These national festivals require the nation to come together and for the men of each family to bring a tribute. Like Christmas and Easter are designed to do, these festivals anchor the Israelite people in their common heritage and their shared faith. Now, by retelling the miraculous stories of God's direct activity in history, our corporate identity becomes deeply rooted in our shared faith. Seize the moment and tell the God story of our holidays. Children and families, communities are shaped by the stories we tell at the holidays we celebrate. So make sure you tell a better story, the gospel of Jesus Christ, at Christmas and Easter and at every holiday. Seize the moment.